We're using a worm farm septic system. How you going guys? Uh, the septic has started being put in today. So you see the vent pipe there. So it's down uh, off to the side of the house on the low side. We're using a worm farm septic system. So you can see there it's got like the, the compost bin sitting on top. Now it's going to be ages before we use it. So I'm just dropping about 3000 litres into it just to weigh it down. We get a lot of groundwater here. And the last thing I want is the groundwater to fill up and it pops out. So that pipe there, that's a pump for groundwater. So there's a some pipe that goes around the, the bottom um, and there's a pump that's sunk down in there. You can probably just see the, the cord there. Uh, and that'll remove, when it gets to a certain level, pump the groundwater out. So that'll be sort of pumped down that way and it'll go into the dam. So it's not septic system or anything like that. It's just groundwater from outside the system. That's not going to be hooked up for quite a while yet. Hence the reason I'm putting a few thousand litres of water in it, just to weigh it down so they won't have any issues there. Uh, the other pump, this pump here, is the pump that will go over to the effluent field. So, which is over in our first paddock over here. Uh, so that will be pumped over to the other side. The, the, the liquid that's pumped out is apparently, it's not poo or pee water or anything like that. It's, it's actually quite clean. Uh, you wouldn't drink it obviously, but uh, it's processed by the worms. So they've gone through and processed it. So it hopefully should be fairly high in nutrients um, after the worms are processed and everything been pumped over. I didn't want a chemical um, system or anything like that. So I went with the worm system. It's got good reviews. There's always some negative reviews about everything. So there's a few negative ones out there, but I think as long as you put the right stuff in, we should have good results. Um, that's the, using the right type of toilet paper, the right type of cleaning products and all that type of stuff. Apparently it can handle normal household quantities. So we'll see how we go. That's what's been going on today. I didn't get time to do any footage before or during the day. Um, so I'll just sort of come out now and show you where it's at at the moment. Don't know if you can see down in there. Let's see if we can put some light down in there. Can you see just filling that up now. So that pipe there, I don't want to drop my phone in there, that pipe there, coming out here, that will be hooked up to what comes out of the house. So it all comes out of the house, in there, down through here, into this pipe, does its thing down the bottom here. This pump will then pump the water out to the effluent field. House is there, we've got the, what will be the front yard here, and then the effluent field will be over in this first paddock. So we have been running sheep in this paddock. Um, now the reason it's got to go over there is there's the dam, one of the dams. It's the small dam at the top of the farm. So we couldn't have the effluent field here because it needed to be a certain distance away from the dam. And if we put it here, that's directly downhill from the dam. So the risk is that any water in that leaches through will go to the dam. So it's going over in this field here. There's um, 150 metres worth of pipe that's going in and there'll be 30 metres each. So don't know if you can see those lines. The pink line sort of goes straight across that way. So it's across the field. You can see there. So straight across, that'll be one and then they'll put them periodically through here. 150 metres of, of effluent sort of line if you like and it is downhill from the dam so this is all the pipe that'll go in I think this is some of it I don't think it's all of it so you see there it's all slotted and that'll be filled or wrapped in gravel and geocloth gravel and geocloth will go around the outside of it so it'll seep out into the ground um, that's all I've got for now. I'm going to go down and sort these steers out because one has decided to get out of the fence because they had to turn the electric fence off. 
so this guy could do his job today. So, and uh, Clyde, the naughty one, has decided to get out again. So, I need to go and sort them out. How you going, guys? So, day two of the septic system install. So, I'll give you a look and see what's happened today. So, he's put a, it looks like an alarm system, I would say. Yeah, so that'll tell us if the uh, system is backing up or not empty. So you can see he's just uh, topped up around the around here, which is great. Um, now over in the paddock here, let's have a look. So he's taken the, the line from here straight over to the paddock. He's done a pretty good job actually of tidying this up, which is great. And you can see here what he's doing. So these are the lines coming in. So that one there, that one there will go into the system. This one here is the groundwater. So this is the first one. It'll go across that way. So there's the um, slotted pipe that I showed you yesterday. So it'll feed through here. There's the second one. That'll go across that way. So you can see it's going off at the angle. He had to do that so it was on contour. And there's another three down there. So one, two, and three. So I'll show you this one down here. He may have already started this one. Yep, so there's the slotted pipe. And then that'll be filled with gravel. After this, after the um, septic system install, it'll be up to the wall frame. Uh, so I think I've shown you before, but all the, the wall frames are all sitting behind me here. And here's all the roof trusses and everything else. So I do need to do a little bit of work tidying up around the slab and um, I just want to grind the edges off because I've got a nice clean um, edge to seal on. That's where we're at guys, that's uh, day two update. I think he's going to be here for another couple of days yet. Uh, I think he'll be here till Friday. It's now Tuesday, so uh, there's still a bit to go. It's easy digging here, so it doesn't take long to dig the trenches that he needs, but we are getting quite a bit of rain on Thursday, so I think he's going to try and get the trenches pretty much dug uh, by tomorrow, I think. So, see how we goes. I just wanted to finish off a video about our septic system that we chose here. Um, so the one we chose is an AA worm farm system. Uh, so this is to get rid of all of our black and grey water waste. So, you know, your shower, laundry, toilets, all of that. So it's a worm farm system. Uh, so what that means is it's got your normal tank into the ground. All of the wastewater comes out into the uh, into the tank, the uh, it goes into a sort of preliminary tank, I guess, and then as it liquefies, it goes down into the bottom tank. Now, there's um, compost worms in there, or there will be. Uh, they're not at the moment, but once I uh, kick the system into gear, the compost worms then eat the waste and it flows out to an effluent field, which we've got in our first paddock. There's 150 metres of uh, drainage out in there so it'll flow out and drain out so that's all on contour so it's all level they all fill evenly but then soaks into the ground so one of the reasons we wanted there we didn't want a chemical uh, system because we didn't want to put chemicals out into the ground there and we just like the idea that it's compost worms that are decomposing or yeah processing our waste i guess um so i've read good things about it Time will tell, we'll see how we go. Hopefully it works, but it's all in, uh, it's done. I've just got to get the electric hook up, hooked up to it. Uh, so we just got to run a line over from the house once the house is done. So there's two electrical lines coming out. There's two pumps. One pumps the water from inside the tank out to the effluent field. So once it's processed by the worms, this is the chamber it comes into and it'll pump out from there. There's another one on the outside. This is a pipe that goes down the outside of the, of the tank and that's for any groundwater. So what can happen if you've got low water in your tank and high water outside the tank, it can pop the tank out of the ground. So we don't want that to happen.
So what that outside one does, it's got a uh, submersible pump in there. When it gets to a certain level, it'll pump the groundwater out. So, and it goes down towards where that effluent field is and it just pumps over onto the ground. So it's just groundwater, it's clean. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not sewage, it's not mixed with anything else inside the tank. It's just groundwater. And once we start the system up, I'll introduce some new compost worms and then the system will evolve and it'll grow and the, the worms will multiply until it becomes a sort of proper functioning system. Yeah, I think I mentioned AA worm farm system. They came out and installed it. Once the house is done, the plumber will hook up the waste system to it. So it's about sort of a meter, two meters away. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching today's video. Please share, like, and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you again next time with 20 Acres to Home.